Now, most of you guys know what song that is, and I'm, I'm not warmed up, but I just did it with this uh, kind of na-na exercise, and the voice was there, which is pretty cool. The problem is transitioning that to the lyrics. And the reason for that is because when you try to sing an actual song, in your brain, you start putting it at a very high pedestal. You're like, oh, that's so hard and whatnot. And then on top of that, let's say you have failed many, many times singing that song. So what happens is uh, you end up building uh, bad muscle memories and they stick you know, in your brain and they just don't want to go away. And they just stay there and it's very hard to get rid of all those kinds of things, you know. So let me go ahead and try to actually put the song in that place, like in that kind of na 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 exercise and see how my voice functions, okay? So um, let's see. Na na run to the hills. Got caught in the E there. Run for your life. Run to the hills. <laughs> Run for your life! Well, that was actually not as bad as I expected considering I'm not warmed up at all. But yeah, it's good to see that my voice is actually kind of there. So yeah, pretty awesome, pretty awesome I would say. Uh, just on my YouTube browsing for feeds. Um, so one of the hardest part for me for that song is that um, going to that kind of high E5 and then coming down um, to those kind of mid range like Run for your life. because the tendency is to always pull too much weight when you come from that uh, D5 back down to that kind of A4 area, right? Life. That's fine. Life. And that kind of part is hard because you can go like you can end up. Uh, pulling too much chest or pulling too much weight. Life! Not saying that's bad, but it might make things a little bit hard. And then run for your life. And then two. That O valve would always get me. It didn't get me today, so that's good. My O's and E valves are getting better now, so that's uh, good to see. And I'm also, as I'm looking at my phone, I'm noticing that I'm doing something different with my tongue. And that's the thing, it's like, you know, you gotta, like when you do something correctly, um, when you do something correctly and you record yourself, you really wanna go back and watch that video and see what exactly it is that you're doing with your, with pretty much everything right over here. How you're shaping your tongue, uh, what you're doing with your uh, lips, you know, your cheeks, that kind of things. So for instance, if I go, run, you can see my tongue is fairly low and it's kind of giving me the darker sound. If I go, run, you can see the tongue is high there, the mid part and the kind of like the back posterior part of my tongue, right? So, run to the hills. If I, Lean too much and get more chesty, a little bit heavy. It's not necessary to do that. Um, like you can choose to do that if you like, but yeah, it all depends, I suppose. But um, yeah, it's good to see where my voice is at right now. It's in a good spot. Um, <clears throat> apologies for that, but it's good to see that I could transfer um, an exercise into an actual song and not really straining. So that's good to see. Um, should I try another song? Let me start trying it, an Ariana Grande song. Um, it's gonna sound bad, but I'll do it anyway. Right now I'm at a state of mind. I wanna be like all the time. Ain't got no tears on the cry. I'm a na 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 even when it's raining down, can't stop you, shut your mouth. Right? Na 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 Yeah, that's, that's tough. It's, and now, okay, so what's happening right now? Because I'm putting that song at a very high pedestal. And on top of that, 
I would fail many, many times, right? Like I tried to end that side, uh, push my weight, strain, pinch, and it's always those bad muscle memories that will always get you. They will always get you. So the goal as singers should be to erase all those bad muscle memories and just get it. You know, just get it. Don't be afraid. So there's this other song, as you guys know, that I uh, always sing, and I strain. I would strain there a lot. Let me see if I actually do it right now. No, no, no. I remember the night and a very blind kiss. You knew I never loved on the line, but time after time, I'm down in my knees, begging like never before. Wasted day are bringing me down. Oh, girl, I'm losing you. Shattered dreams spinning me around. Oh, girl, can I do? So I can see that my uh, strain was kind of coming back in a little bit, but not quite. At least not the way that it would do before. Okay, so yeah, it's good to see that. My voice is improving, I suppose. Like even at this kind of condition, without any warm-ups, I can still sing those songs. So it's good to see that, you know? And um, is there any other song? Mm. I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think of a song. She got a body like an hourglass, but I can give it to you all the time. I think I'm a little bit too high there. But, um, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, okay, I don't want to make this video too long. Okay, I just wanted to see where my voice is at. And it's good to see that, uh, you know, the voice is there. No, 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 I can also speak up there at that high C. Right, and I can also speak there. I'm not belting, I'm in a mixed voice there, right? And you can probably hear that. Na, 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 na. And I'm still trying to maintain that kind of lighter quality in my voice because doing a lighter sound in that kind of, you know, mid-range, I'm talking from uh, E4 to kind of G4 area, it, it's really hard to maintain that uh, kind of, that lighter coordination because the voice would always wanna get too chesty. Like if you go, no, 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 And you can see that, like, ah, my tongue is doing something. Like my tongue is shaping in a way that is allowing me to, you know, access my high notes in a very efficient manner. And I know I'm probably going to lose it. And, um, Maybe, I don't know, hopefully I don't, but it's, it's, you know, it's something that we as singers go through all the time is that we lose certain coordinations, right? We try something and then we lose it. But um, yeah, okay, this video is getting already too long. Let me see if I can try another song. Uh, let's try. Mm. Mm. That part I'm afraid of because you're kind of like doing a very slow run going all the way up to an F5 and then open up that vowel. What's that? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, you gotta lean there. That's a very high S note. But um, yeah, uh, so that, that kind of went okay. And uh, okay, a viewer, uh, somebody asked me to try out some Dimash high notes. So let's play something here of Dimash real quick. Some high S notes. Let me forward the video. Yeah, this is a sauce untre trien or something. Right? That kind of thing. And where it goes mix. Yeah.
So. That's the best I can do. I, I, I don't speak French, okay? I don't speak French, so I can't do it. I don't know what it's saying. But um, yeah, that's a little bit of uh, Dimash, I guess. Gosh, it, like immediately as I tried to sing that, fear kicked in because I put Dimash in a very high pedestal, right? Because I have so much respect for this guy. He is freaking phenomenal, okay? Phenomenal. And um, because of that, my fear kicked in and, you know, I felt like my muscle, my bad muscle memory uh, were trying to come back in a little bit. But I'm glad that I didn't, you know, engage them. But, yeah. Na, 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 na. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's a little bit of Dimash right there for you guys. Uh... What should I try? Mm, welcome to the jungle! We got fun and games! We got all the things you want, and we know the name! Right? A little bit of twangy, and then I kind of went a little bit more chesty there. Um, mm, 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 I'm trying to think of a song here. Of uh, Galileo, Galileo. Yeah, that's the right key. <laughs> Galileo Figaro. <laughs> yeah, you see what happened there? Okay, that's an interesting part because you gotta stay very light there. So Galileo Figaro. You, you kind of like have to stay in that rather rather than doing that. So yeah, and again, Freddie Mercury, one of the other guys that I put at a very high pedestal. And that's why I freaked out, you know? It's like, it's those things, it's, it, you know, it's those kind of thinking process that you gotta undo. And once you kind of like undo that, boom, your highness will just come in, like, very easily. Um. No, no, no. Okay, now, for whatever reason, I can feel my superglottic squeeze kicking back in a little bit, but that's all right. That's all right. That song as well that's Ray Gillen right and um, at the end or I think uh, what's that about flash flash I sound like a shot and blade everyone thinks you the god in me sorry mm, losing the placement a little bit there uh, because my fear my fear is kind of coming back in again and that's the thing it's like you know as singers we gotta train ourselves to let go of those fears. And then there's this other song, like, Go! Right? Not the proper placement, but yeah, that's also a tough song. And um, I think it goes something like, And then there's a crazy part. Lady! Oh! <laughs> crazy stuff, man. I shouldn't be getting that high right now, but I just did. Probably shouldn't have done that. And, um, uh, okay, Chris Cornell just popped up in my news feed, so let me give a little bit of tribute there. And in the early dawn, move and ride alone. I couldn't buy it now for sleep And in the aching night on the satellite I was not received Bill was stolen part A telephone in my heart Someone gave me a priest 
and the nail, ooh, nail in my hand from the creator. You gave me a life. Now show me how to live. And you can see that I'm squeezing or my bad muscle memory is kicking in a little bit because that's also another song um, that I would strain a lot singing that and it's just those bad muscle memory kicking in so a good way to kind of like combat that uh, the bad muscle memory would be to put exercise on it or sing with a character voice so if I just go na, 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 nail in my hand. if I excuse me <clears throat> if I just sing the song that way it gets so much easier right that dip thumb nail that's a tough one I'm not gonna lie that's a tough one because I can go nail in my head I can kind of like cheat my way but if you want to really get that dip thumb nail <laughs> you gotta get it that way right but um, yeah um, and another thing I want to share with you guys is that when you fail you got to really take that like you got to hum like you got to be humble because of course it's easier said than done but your ego in a sense always comes in and wants to take over so you're like oh man i strain or maybe fear comes in and you're like oh shit i strain i'm probably going to strain again and again you know and those are the mindsets that we have to get rid of as singers because if you have that you know it's just going to be a train wreck especially when you're singing in front of a crowd Okay, so that nail in my hand from the creator, creator, you gave me a lie. Now show me how to live, right? And then show me, uh, show me how to live because. It's actually not a hard note. It's a B. Now, of course, Chris Cornell is not singing that light. He's, he's singing very powerfully, very strongly. But what I'm saying is that even if you're singing lightly and then you start singing the song and then, you know, you have all this pre predisposed muscle memory, they kind of like come back in and they screw you up you know it's tough I mean singing is never easy you know there's for me there's so many things you know I'm still exploring and learning and um, yeah I know I'm getting there it's getting better I can feel my progress you know as I'm singing songs as I'm putting an exercise in the songs I can feel that you know it's getting better it's getting more consistent but yeah um, good stuff good stuff but uh, right now uh, oh man 18 minutes long this video is almost 20 minutes long Okay, I don't think uh, I have anything else to show here. Uh, and also, you know, as you guys know that I have spasmodic dysphonia, I can feel that, you know, it's coming back in a little bit and uh, it's kind of causing me a little bit of issues. For instance, if I try... Like... I feel more uh, I feel more comfortable singing that song, um, and you can see that I'm not oh, I'm not twangy anymore. I'm using more darker sound color and whatnot, and it also sounds more pleasant, right? But um, yeah. No, no, no! Tell me what I do around here. Don't wanna see you like a macho man. <laughs> I saw Michael Jackson here, so just wanted to try that out real quick. But and um. Um, Death of a bachelor, whoa, letting the water fall. The death of a bachelor seems to have fitting for happily ever after. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Again. And then I ask for more. 
got muscle memory kicking in. It's, it's all those things, you know, it's, uh, it's tough. It's tough. Like you really gotta, you really gotta sit down and, you know, really work on these things. Okay. I'm seeing an exercise. Na, 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 na. And then put it into a song. Let's say B flat four is the high note. Na, 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 let me photograph you in this life in case it is the last time. And you can see that even right now, my squeeze is coming back in a little bit. I feel bad. I feel shitty about it. And because I have a precondition in my voice, which is a spasmodic dysphonia, as a lot of you guys know, um, it's making things a lot harder for me. So, um, but yeah, um, you know, it's a work in progress. It's getting there and whatnot. But um, yeah, I'm going to end this video here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching if you have watched up to this part. But um, yeah, I'm going to end this video here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.